20 days to the hospital bed. Oh. That kind of takes a toll on someone. Janessa Thompson alive and well today with her jaw still wired shut after being released from the hospital over the weekend. God's great. I really like none of this would have been possible without him. Like 100% I would I wouldn't be alive. That's because a few weeks ago, Janessa and her cheer squad were climbing on this goalpost for photos when it came crashing down. I started to see her falling, and so I went to go catch her, but it ended up being the goalpost falling. That's really the last thing I remember. And her parents knew she had a long road ahead of her, but believed her journey has been nothing short of miraculous. Since that moment, it's just been one miracle after the next. Every time I talked about it, I cried. I still cry. That's because the goalposts could have easily killed her. The doctor said that it just looked like a bomb had gone off in the head. Janessa had to get three surgeries. She still has multiple skull fractures, possible hearing loss, and they are still praying to see if she regains eyesight in her right eye. The most pain I'm in is my jaw and my mouth and everything, but other than that, I'm, I'm good. She says she is determined to heal and get back to basketball and cheerleading and believes the community cheering her on is what keeps her spirits high. I really don't have enough words to thank everyone for everything they've done for me. Aaron View, KOCO 5 News. <laughs>